guys, so like, I don't know why I just made that awkward. Hey guys, so new filming location. I'm actually kind of enjoying this like background a lot, really. Like there's just my elephant and just like, I don't know, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot and the lighting's a lot better over here, even though it's kind of cloudy outside, yeah. So uh, we are going to do a what's in my beach bag and my beach bag just looks like, let me go get it bag kind of just looks like this like it has little studs on it and then on the back it doesn't actually have studs and then it's like huge when you open it up there's actually stuff in here because this is not just my beach bag like this is a really cute bag that is just adorable and it's big enough to be a beach bag but I kind of like have been using it for like other things lately like I use this in like the last day of school to like bring home some stuff and that's what's in here right now but I just have my beach bag essentials like right here by my feet. So yeah, I'm going to show you them. So the first thing I have is just sunscreen. This is from Walgreens, guys. Like pretty generic. It's SPF 15. And I think this is a good like SPF. Like I know there's obviously like, look, they can even go up to like 100. But I think this is pretty good for me because like, I don't know, I want to like get tan still, but I don't want to like get skin cancer so I think this is it's a good one and it smells like sunscreen which I, I mean duh but I like it it smells like sunscreen and I love the smell of sunscreen so I have another sunscreen which is just like an old one and this is like literally like I don't even know why I have two of them but I do so yeah it's SPF 15 as well so next thing I have is a lotion this is just the Be Enchanted lotion from Bath and Body Works yes and it has little sparkles in it. I think this is so cute and it looks really nice in the sun because you like look like Edward Cullen. And I know like that's so 2010, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I really like this a lot. I think it's an amazing like lotion. Actually, it's not amazing. It's a good lotion, but I think it's cute. It smells really nice. And it's not too expensive or anything. I actually don't know the price. My best friend got this for me, but you know. You know, it's usually not too expensive to get. It's not like a crazy expensive kind of thing I got is just makeup remover wipes and these are from forever 21 they're the love and beauty ones these are coconuts and I know you kind of can't tell because like the way I'm sitting and like there's like more sun over here but I don't know I'm really liking this new filming area like it's nice it's like it's good for me but um yeah it's just like they're really basic and they smell kind of weird actually like they smell sort of like coconut they're like honestly not the best, but they're cheap. There's like 60 of them. No, there's not. There's 30 of them for $4. Actually, I don't even know if that's a good deal or not. I'm not familiar with my makeup remover wipes prices. But yeah, I like these ones because I was just at Forever 21. So I was like, I'm going to get them. And yeah, that, that happened. The next thing I have is just waterproof mascara. This is the Great Lash Waterproof Hydro Fudge. Ew. <laughs> that sounds gross. But, um, yeah, this is just, like, a really easy mascara to use. I like the Great Lash. I have, like, five of them. So I obviously like it a lot. And, um, this is just so easy to use, guys. I, I mean, what's hard about mascara, but, like, it doesn't get everywhere or anything. And it's hard to take off. I promise you that. So just be mindful of that. Like, if you have, like, a specific, like, makeup remover that's, like, for mascara then I would definitely use it or like um, use like ponds or something. It's hard to get off guys. Like a regular makeup remover wipe won't get it all off. But um, it's definitely worth it if you're going to be at the beach or something or seeing The Fault in Our Stars. I kid you not I wore this while seeing The Fault in Our Stars because I didn't want to get mascara everywhere. True story. So the next thing I have is just bobby pins. These are like Conair ones. I don't know. I feel like these are needed because like if your hair... Oh my god, I keep getting texts. Aren't that popular? No. But um, I'm pretty sure it's like from my parents too. So that's just awesome. But anyway, um, these are just like Conair ones. They're really basic and really like... I don't even... Really? Like I was saying, they're like really just bobby pins like I don't recommend a certain brand I think these were just cheaper than the other ones so I just got these but yeah I like these a lot I think they are very nice and very good to have the next thing I recommend is obviously a ponytail like I just literally have one on my wrist like that is literally just yeah literally 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 right now you have a ponytail on your wrist so the next thing I recommend is just this NYX matte finish spray and this is like 
I think it's waterproof because every time I go in like water with like foundation on like go under it doesn't do anything to it so I think it's like water slash like sweat proof okay so the next thing I have is just this Moroccan sea salt spray and my sister's in the hallway and I can like tell she's like listening to me and it's really annoying I say the next thing I have is just this Moroccan sea salt spray. This is actually kind of expensive, this one is. Um, there are other ones that you can get. I like literally just have this because like I, I don't know why I have this one specifically, but there are other ones. And I know the um, Bumble and Bumble one is really good, but it's really expensive and it's pretty tiny, so I'm kind of more like a drugstore kind of girl. But um, yeah, this is just the Moroccan sea salt spray, and I'm so sorry about my nails, guys. They are very bad. Um, but yeah, this is just like you put this in your hair when it's like wet or like damp and you can just like scrunch it up. And you, it doesn't actually even have to be like wet or damp. You can really do it when it's straight and like not straight necessarily, but like, you know, when it's just regular hair. So yeah, um, I wouldn't do it right now because like my hair is straightened and I'm not going to, you know, go through it again with the straightener. And this kind of does not up your hair, guys, just to let you know. Um, it does make your hair a little bit knotty, but if that's not a problem to you, I totally recommend using this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that rambling on of a video. I'm really liking this new filming location, so I definitely will be filming more. I love you guys so much, thank you for 250. I didn't, like, mention that in my last video, but thank you so much. Like, that's honestly amazing, because now it's like 255 actually. 256? I don't know, there's like <laughs> one person who like, like one day it's like 255 and then the next it's like 256 and it like fluctuates so there's like one person like, it's like subscribing and like unsubscribing. I don't know why, but you know, what else? It's all good in the hood. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want any more summer videos like this, you know, just comment them down below because come August I'm going to start doing back to school videos and I know school hasn't even been out for a week, and I'm like, back to school, guys. Yeah. I love you guys so, so much. I always, <laughs> I sound so annoying. I'm like, so, so much. No, but I really do. I love you guys a lot. A ton of, a gazillion, I don't even know. It's the biggest infinity of my love. It's just like, you know, there's like love. And then, oh my god. Guys, like a bird just like latched onto my- <laughs> Okay, I have the worst laugh ever. Okay, I love you guys so much, and I know I said that like 20 times, but this is my last. I'm saying it. Alright, bye!